around the globe log on to a computer for home, school, and personal work. We know that we first have to push the power button, but what happens after that? What goes on inside of a computer? RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It is used by the system to store data that is then processed by the computer's CPU, also known as the processor. So you may be wondering, what does all of this mean to me? Well, basically, RAM allows your computer to do more things at the same time and do them a little faster. like your closet. It's a place where you store and save things, but if you don't clean it up every once in a while, it can become cluttered, leaving you with less room to store information. The CPU, or Central Processing Unit, is the brain or the master of your computer that carries out the computer's instructions. This part is so important that you can't even see it. It's well hidden under heat sinks, which are metal blocks that cool the processor. Oh! If you like playing games on the computer, then you know how important a good video card is. The main function of the video card is to generate and output images to the computer screen. The better the video card, the better the performance when you're playing your favorite game, working on dual monitors, or working on a high resolution monitor. Basically, the video card is responsible for what you see. Behind me is a construction site. Before workers can build a structure, they must first have a plan. This plan and layout of where everything will one day reside is called a blueprint. A blueprint is to a building what a motherboard is to a computer. This is what sends power to homes, schools, and businesses. Well, the PSU, or Power Supply Unit, does the same thing. It funnels power through cables to each device on the computer. You may not ever look on the inside of a desktop or a laptop to see how all of these parts work together, but just know, each part plays a significant role.